I have had three of these Samsung 980 Pro, 2TB NVMe drives fail and go into read-only mode with no fix. I've come across a lot of articles with people saying they lost their data and they can't get it back, but I will show you that actually this isn't the end. So let's rewind a bit. Over the past two years, I've been having quite a lot of troubles with my computer. When it's running good, it's running great, but I have been having critical drive issues that have been resolving in countless days of me trying to figure out what the issue is. Constant back and forth with my suppliers, PC specialists, Samsung, and lots of conversation on Facebook or groups like PC Master Race. Funnily enough though, it wasn't my suppliers that pointed me in the right direction, it was actually the Facebook groups. And this issue is only becoming widespread now, which gives me a lot of relief actually, because my laptop configurator, PC specialist, said the issue could be coming from the motherboard, the voltage regulation that supplies the voltage to the NVMe drives, which was causing all these 980 Pro 2 terabyte drives to fail. But it turns out, no, it wasn't the NVMe port. It wasn't the voltage, it wasn't the motherboard, it was actually these specific drives. It wasn't all NVMe drives because I have quite a few other manufacturers in there as well. I have Cybrant and another off-brand one, I don't remember the name of it, but they've been running fine for two years, while these have been dying within months. I've been through around four RMA requests now, which all have been granted, confirmed, repaired and shipped with a brand new or repaired drive and thank god that i've been showing these articles now because now i know what the problem was it was actually the firmware and looking back for all my logs screenshots and diagnosis and it looks like it's correct all the drives that died had the 3b2 qgxa7 firmware well although people are posting about this there's articles being made people are making videos about this but even more people need to know but at least i do have something to add for people who are desperate on recovering their data First and foremost, the drive has gone into read-only mode, so it is not an actually dead drive, you can actually read off it and copy all the files off it. So all you really need really is another drive, and if that drive had an operating system on it, you can actually recover that too with full functionality. Just make sure that the drive is the same size or larger, and you can actually use the same model if you want, however, just make sure that the firmware isn't 3B2Q. GXA7, and if it is, you're gonna have to upgrade it. I have upgraded all my drives to 5B2Q GXA7, and so far I haven't had any problems at all, and neither does the older 4B2Q GXA7. So that's the good firmware that you want 5B2Q GXA7 and 4B2Q GXA7. If you are planning on using the Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabyte drive, I recommend you actually install it into an already functional computer with uh, an operating system pre-installed uh, so that way you can run Samsung Magician and you can check its firmware and if it does turn out to be 3B2Q GXA7 you're gonna have to update the firmware through Samsung Magician before you can start using it reliably. So if you want to recover this drive as it was you can do so using a cloning software and I would recommend a Cronus True Image. It copies sector by sector, so all the partitions that were on the original drive will be as it was. However, there is some downsides to that. So once you actually clone the drive, some of the software that you had installed that had licenses applied to the operating system, for example, I have ReWSAD, that is attached to the hard drive itself somehow. So although you have a license applied to the computer, that whole license is attached to this drive. I don't know what it is, I don't know ex exactly how it's linked, it's, I guess it's like something like a MAC address but for, for a SSD, NVMe. You would have to log into the WSAD website and revoke the license on the old computer and reapply it onto the new one. It's the same computer, but it's just a different drive, so that is a bit of a downside, which is uh, a bit time consuming, but it's better to have everything running. You know, it's better to have all your data back as it was. Now on my laptop, I cloned this around three to four times now because I don't really have the time to reinstall literally over a hundred programs. I mean, I use my laptop, my computer, my desktop every single day and reinstalling around a hundred programs takes a lot of time. To get everything back to the way I want, it takes me around a month. It takes me that long to get everything the way I want it exactly. Uh, sure, I have like backups of um, my setups and everything. But to make sure everything is exactly the way I want it, it takes a long time. So the best thing to do for me is just cloning it. There is issues with that, with licensing issue, for example, WSAD, Ableton, and like even Calculator, for example. So Microsoft apps, they won't even work anymore. Don't think like this is a permanent fix. This is a fix for you to be able to access all your data and retrieve it basically. So you can log in to your operating system and see things as they were, back up any program data that you need like configuration files like say Photoshop, Premiere, you know, you can just copy paste all the preferences uh, or sure you may have access uh, to the, all those data if you just plug it in into another desktop for example you can copy and paste them from the read-only drive but cloning the whole drive gets you 
into the operating system where you sometimes cannot get access through another operating system. So for me, that was the best solution. It's funny though, I was reading some articles that were saying that this firmware may reduce the lifespan of these drives to like 50%. However, mine were dying within maybe 12 months for the first drive, and then like six months, then four months, then just get quicker and quicker. It made no sense. And the read and write times were only around 10 terabytes. The worst thing about this whole experience is just really making you, me, the user, making us feel like we did something wrong. So you don't know if it's user error. And then you're just left wondering. So after I received my RMA, I just plugged it in. I'm wondering, hmm, I wonder if this is going to happen again. I didn't really change anything. The hardware's still the same. It's the same model. So why would it change? And I was exactly right. So when PC Specialist replaced this drive, I thought, okay, well, maybe that's a one-off. Maybe it won't happen again. And you know, I was actually really pleased. That, wow, that's a really quick replacement. That's really nice of them to replace it that fast. But nope, I was exactly right. When I received the replacement, I cloned the drive, had it running a few months later, read-only mode again, which made me think, okay, well, this is a bit concerning. Is it my fault? Is this the operating system? Do I have many too many programs? And maybe one of them is dodgy. Maybe one of them is malware for some reason. But if it's something like malware, surely it would affect all my files and hold them for ransom, for example. So when I contact PC Specialists about this, uh, I asked them if they had any other reports from any other buyers, any users that uh, use the same 980 Pro 2 terabyte drives. They just completely ignored the issue. They wouldn't even like touch it. They just said, yep, yeah, we'll replace it, no problem. But they just kept ignoring my question about, is this an isolated issue? Third and fourth drive, I had to actually go through Samsung themselves because I bought them from eBay. And I would say Samsung's RMA process was the most annoying, to be honest, because the only way to find the correct place to do it was through a live chat service. So you speak to an agent and eventually they will link you to a, an email address. And in this whole RMA process emails, I linked them all these user reports of people experiencing the same issue because I was telling them, I don't want the same drive back. Uh, if you send me the same drive back and it fails again, it's just going to be a repeat process. It will cost you more money. You're going to have bad PR and it's just going to be over and over the same thing again. Because that's exactly what happened with PC specialists in the first place. They were sending me back the same drive, uh, well, a brand new drive, the same model with the same firmware. It just made no sense to me why Samsung and PC specialists just kept on just shipping out the same drives over and over again. But looking at the drive 3, 4 and 6, I think, it did actually have the new firmware, so eventually they clocked on the issue and they realized that it was the firmware, so they did fix it themselves. But basically to this day, Samsung and PC specialists don't, don't admit that there was any wrongdoing on that part. Either way, I just had to get this off my chest because this whole problem spanned over the past two years or so, and just I wasn't sure if this was going to happen again, if this was resolved. But now I actually know what the issue was, it was the firmware, and multiple people reporting on it. I'm, I'm really relieved now. This whole issue made me want to get rid of all these drives. I did actually have them up on eBay and I was thinking, you know, this is going to be a lot of effort putting them up for sale, selling them on and then rebuying another because I was looking into Western Digital drives. They have really good drives apparently as well. But the thing is, you don't know what issue you're going to have next. Uh, sure, I haven't come across any issues that I've read about, but neither did I from these drives until someone linked me those links about the read only issue. So at least we know what the issue is now and i believe i resolved it with the firmware updates so i'm actually going to stick with these to see what's going to happen and worst comes to worst i go into read only mode again i know how to fix it i just clone the drive so yeah to conclude this if you still have one of these drives and it's in read only mode the data is actually fine do you not send it back just clone it and just get another one of these drives maybe off amazon clone it and once you have the data recovered, then you can ship it back for an RMA replacement. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to my channel. It helps me quite a lot. It helps me get seen and helps me in the algorithm. Because the mysterious algorithm requires interaction. Anyway, thanks guys.